Now the IP address for this NAS is 10.0025 and when I first keyed in that IP address I got this response from the um, web browser indicating that it didn't know what that IP address was and if you do find that just put and that's what you experience just put 8080 after it and it'll immediately go to um, the QNAP QTS desktop interestingly enough once you've done that just once even if you come out and come back in again and put in the same IP address you'll see that it's remembered the 8080 and you'll never have to put the 8080 in again alright at this point we've um, got the QTS desktop there so we go admin and the password is in the uh, documentation for your NAS the default password is um, not terribly secure so we'll change that later I want to save it alright the first thing it's going to ask me is do I want to update the firmware as I referred you to in the last uh, video segment the installation uh, puts in a, uses the firmware which is shipped with the machine which is perhaps a couple of versions old but um, the very first thing it wants to do as soon as it finds an internet connection as it has come here is to contact the QNAP site and download the latest firmware which it's going to do and then we should always uh, agree to that uh, we continue you can read this at your own leisure um, at the moment now it's starting to download the firmware this will take a little while so we'll um, pause the video momentarily to, while that's going on once it's finished the download it then migrates to updating the system so from the what it's downloaded it's now applying that into the operating system and upda updating the operating system I'll pause again oh, I might also just take this moment to mention the uh, state the obvious when it's doing this and when it's doing any kind of updates you should always uh, you should never remove the power turn the turn the machine off uh, and leave it partially complete always let it finish what it's doing and then prompt you to um, when it's completed almost there and the next thing it asks is do we want to restart the NAS and we would always do that agree to that Here's some audible response from the NAS in a minute.
So now we log in again. It's just telling you what the update included. We can, we can look at that at your own leisure. It's telling me down in the bottom right hand corner that there's some updates available. These are for, in this case, the hook desk. We would normally just update them all at the stage because we're in the process of building the machine. You'll see how the, um, the, the system gives you a little indication of what's going on. Firstly, you see an upload. You see the, the pie chart indicating how far through that upload it is. Oh, sorry, download. And um, then it begins the updating process using what it's downloaded. That's all done. So where we are now is this. We've loaded up the firmware, it's installed, it's configured, and the system, the drives, have partitions created, but the drives can't be used yet. There's no usable areas allocated. There's no storage area or volumes allocated. So the next thing we need to do is create those storage areas because without those we can't do, really progress further. And with this, then we will load up the systems soft and the software into those storage areas.